Hey everybody, it's Marcia from One Scribe at a Time, and I'm back today with my first layout that I created with the March main kit from my creative scrapbook. This beautiful kit is full of the Pink Paisley Bloom Street collection and a little bit of the Schmel Never Grow Up. So I have a kit unboxing. If you'd like to see everything in the kit, um, be sure to look for that YouTube video on my channel. Alright, so this kit came with some digital cut files. And the first layout that I wanted to create, I wanted to have lots of flowers. So I um, cut out this beautiful flower and leaf um, cut file on white cardstock. And I'm backing it right now with some of the pink and a little bit of yellow pattern papers from the collection. And then I'm going to add some green um, for the leaves. So um, I didn't um, cut out these flower shapes in Silhouette Studio ahead of time. So I'm kind of fussy cutting around the edges of my cut file here. So I put some glue down on the back of the cut file, put a piece of pattern paper over it, and then um, trim real close to the edge of the cut file. So it's a little tedious, but um, I love backing cut files. I think they do look beautiful. All right, so the other thing I wanted to try was to use these magicals on uh, white cardstock without any gesso. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, it'll have like a watercolor effect, I'm hoping. So what I want to do is I want to put some pink at the top. So I'm mixing just a little bit of the pink pigment with some water right now. And I did um, mist my paper a little bit too to get it wet to help absorb the color. So I'm just going to smoosh it down using my um, plastic packaging technique. And then um, wipe off um, my acrylic piece here and go on with the next color. So I wanted to do pink at the top and then I wanted yellow to peek out from the sides of my photo and then do some green on the bottom. So I think um, these magicals are from the Diva um, set. Um, I just got these recently and uh, I have had a lot of fun playing with them. Um, they're really easy um, to do a watercolor effect for a background. Um, you can also mix them with acrylic paint. I guess you can mix them with alcohol, um, make your own alcohol inks as well. Um, I was wrong. These are from the Tray Chic. Um, Magicals set. It's a lot of spring colors. So it had the the pink and the yellow and greens. Um, so that's what I'm going for. This this collection is full of spring colors. So the next color I want to try on here is um, the green. Um, so I'm going to this was a minty green color. And it kind of surprised me that it ended up turning out to be so dark. Um, I thought this would be more uh, uh, pastel, um, not so vibrant. And there's an even more vibrant color that um, is in this set. And I didn't even use that one. Um, so just, yeah, lots of color here. So I'm going to put down um, this mint paint and then I'm going to um, shake my paper here to get a few drips running down. So most of my color was accumulated on one side of the cardstock so I'm just going to let it run over to the other side and then let it drip some more. So my pink and my yellow really didn't run when I did this. It was um, had dried already so if you want drips um, you need the paint to be wet 
So I wanted to mount this on this gorgeous heart paper. So I trimmed the center out of the heart paper so I wouldn't waste that paper. And I can use it on another layout now. So I left a little bit more room at the top because uh, I want to um, tear my paper and expose that paper underneath. So once I have this adhered down on here, I am um, going to tear away parts of the paper to expose the back, the hearts underneath. Um, this is kind of a shabby chic technique. Um, and I used to do this a lot um, years ago when I was scrapbooking. Um, I still kind of do it, I guess. I like to distress the edges of my paper and give it some dimension and just using my fingers, little tears. Um, I am going to machine stitch around the edges too. So if you look closely, you can see that I machine stitched around the edge um, and gave it a little bit more texture. So now I'm going to adhere my photo down and this die cut. So a lot of times when you do mixed media, um, your paper warps. And uh, adhering it to uh, background paper kind of helps with that. But the other thing I did here too was I ran that watercolor paper through my Heidi Swap Mink. So it's a heat thermal laminator and that kind of straightens it all out. Um, it really helps with the warping of the paper. Um, so if you have a heat thermal laminator, try that. And um, I think you'll like the results. Um, I do. So all right, so I wanted to play. I pulled out the Chamel um, Never Grow Up flowers that came with the kit. And I just wanted to um, add to this floral cluster, um, adding some leaves to the bottom and flowers around my photo. So I'm going to start to um, adhere some of these down. Um, I want the leaves hanging down from the bouquet here. Um, let me tell you about the photo while I'm doing this. This is my niece Esme. Um, her name's Esmeralda, so Esme is for short. So she's the latest addition to the family. Um, and she's just adorable. She's got these great big eyes. Um, she is such a cutie. So she's a lot of fun at family gatherings. Um, so when I'm adhering down these flowers, some of them I'm just gluing straight down on the background and some of them I'm putting foam dots behind. I like to add a little bit of dimension um, to my layouts using the foam dots. Um, you can see I also put foam behind um, my photo as well as recycled some chipboard and I use some foam and recycled chipboard behind that die cut as well. So once I get all my flowers down, I can pull out the sticker sheet and start to look at what other embellishments I want on here. So I saw this showered with love and I thought, you know what, that's perfect. This little girl is showered with love. So um, I'm gonna put that down, but since it's a sticker, um, I'm going to use some foam tape, foam dots, and I'm going to put some baby powder on the background so that I can um, adhere this down without it being stuck all over. So it'll be more like a, a Nef mirror piece then. Um, it's not sticky all over the back. So um, it is cute here. So there's um, other things on the sticker sheet too as well that I thought were adorable. Um, there's hearts you can put down. I put a heart here on my photo. Um, I also love the bees, or not really bees, I guess they're um, moss or they might be butterflies. Um, they're super cute. And with the flowers all on here, I thought they were 
um, a good addition to my layout. So once I have these stickers down on here, I have to start to think about my title. And it's, uh, I have a lot on this layout. I have a lot going on already. So I didn't want to use a title that was um, too overwhelming. And since this is the first layout I've scrapped of Esme, I thought I would just use her name. And instead of Esmeralda, I'm using the name that we all call her. We call her Esme. And I'm going to use the foam thickers that came with the kit. And um, put these on with a ruler so that I can get them straight and spaced out the way I want. And decide where I want them on my layout. And I'm just going to overlap it over my die cut. Um, then I started going through some a few other things, like the butterflies. I thought it'd be really cute to put butterflies here. Um, I really like the butterfly now that I'm seeing it below the name. Um, but I already had a die-cut flower there, so I, uh, I ended up um, putting it above the photo um, in the corner here. Um, this pattern paper, the Chamel butterfly pattern paper, was just um, calling me to fussy cut a bunch of butterflies out. Um, so I'm going to fussy cut at least one of these butterflies out and put it on this layout. So I'm going to do that. Fussy cutting um, uh, is easier if you need uh, really sharp scissors. And I love these Cutter B scissors for fussy cutting. They are awesome. And it does take time. It's a little tedious, um, but it's very rewarding. I love the results. I just feel like it needs something there. So I am ultimately going to decide to adhere the butterfly at the top and um, glue on this other butterfly just above my cluster of flowers. And then the last thing that I went and did is I added some Nouveau drops. Um, they're, um, they're clear, transparent drops. They're almost like raindrops um, to my layout. So I put the Nouveau drops in the centers of my flowers and a few trailing um, from these moss. Um, just to add a little movement to them. So this kit is tons of fun. It's full of beautiful pattern papers and lots of ephemera. Um, you are absolutely going to love this kit. Um, so stop back and see the other layouts that I made with it. I'll be posting um, three more layouts that I created with the kit. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.